Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another Monster Hunter video. So today I'm going to be reviewing the monster Emerald Nashura. You can obtain this monster in the Legends Pass. So yeah, today you'll see this monster in battle. And it's also going to show you guys all the best skills, the best runes, everything that you need to know about this mythic. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, the future on. Anyways, let's go on and get started. Alright, I think my background is bugged, but yo, this looks so sick. You guys see this? Maybe, wait, is this the way it is? Like, for everybody? I, I think it's for everybody, if I'm not mistaken. But yo, this background looks so sick when it's dark. Is it just me? Oh my gosh. Alright, anyways, so yeah, we got the monster here. As you guys can see, we have Emerald Nashura. I do have three rune slots open. And we're gonna go ahead and hatch it, of course. We're gonna place it in a Mulch Vault. Let's take a look at the animation. Go straight to her third form, or final form. Oh. Okay, cool. So it is 893. Nice. We're gonna go ahead and start feeding it, of course, but uh, yeah, the name is Emerald Natura. You guys know there is a legendary version of her. It's called Saiyan Natura, and uh, that one, she has healing skills. She has poison skills, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. I, I used to use her quite a lot. Uh, I also faced her in Adventure Map a long time ago um, on this account, so yeah, uh, that was really cool. Uh, but anyways, we got it to level 100. Let's go on and take a look at the stats. So you have about 10,329 strength. Um, you have a great amount of strength right there. Honestly, this is an attacker with healing abilities. So that's really good. Having that much power for an attacker, that's good. Uh, 111,893. That right there kind of sucks. But you can go ahead and improve it by giving in like a mutated uh, strength with life, for example, you know. And then speed on the other hand, 7,271. That's actually a decent amount of speed to have. But uh, you can once again improve it by giving in, for example, two speed with one strength that are actually mutated with life. Alright, that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, anyways, now that we got it to level 100, let's take a look at the traits here. You meet to poison, that's not really the best trait to have. That kind of sucks, honestly. Um, hardened, on the other hand, that's actually a decent trait to have. Life regen in the beginning of the battle, unfortunately, it's not to all allies, it's just to herself. So, yeah. But anyways, um, overall, trait-wise, uh, it's not really my favorite, honestly. Uh, but yeah, stat wise not bad, alright? Let's go ahead and take a look at the skills. You have this AoE moderate nature damage to all enemies, applies poison as well. We might as well go on and run it. Root Slam. That sounds pretty like, uh, pretty much like the legendary Sign Natura skill. I think it's also called Root Slam. Anyways, it's a low special damage to an enemy, applies life regen to itself, gives an extra turn. Okay, let's see what else we have. This one, it's a very low special damage to an enemy, heals all allies by 15%, gives an extra turn. Ooh, let's see what else we have. Cyan and Emerald, deals low special damage to an enemy, gives an extra turn to itself. Okay, and let's see what else we have. Root Jab, that also sounds pretty much like the legendary skill that Cyanature has. It's a very heavy uh, nature damage, sorry, not very heavy, but just heavy nature damage to an enemy, applies poison. It's a 36 stamina, costs 1 turn cooldown. Heals all allies by 20%, applies life regen to all allies, requires cooldown. Okay, not bad. Oh, Pure Force, literally the same exact skill. Metro Sun, it's a low nature damage to all enemies. So that is a spamble skill as long as you have the 30 stamina. Then you have this other one which is a moderate nature damage to one enemy. Zero cooldown with 30 stamina. Let's take a look at these skills. Every single one of them has a 3 turn cooldown. And you have about 3 extra turn skills. Can you actually cycle this? Kind of. Here's the thing, you can start off with whichever one you want because every single one of them gives you an extra turn, right? And they're all three turn cooldown. So let's say you do Root Slam first, then you do Cyan and Emerald. Um, that's one turn of cooldown and then Instant Force. And basically, let's just test it out in battle if we could actually cycle it because it's all three turns, okay? All three turns. And then this one just doesn't give you any extra turns, it just deals damage. But anyways, of course we're gonna, give, we're gonna give it level 10 runes, but I'm gonna have to take off some runes from some of my other monsters. I still can't get over this background, it looks so cool. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and find ourselves some runes to give to this mythic monster. So I'm gonna give like level 10s for example. So let me go ahead and take off some of these runes from you. Just like this. We already have two level 10s that are actually mutated with um, speed and life, right? So we're good. Let's go back to our mythic monster. And of course, we're gonna go on and rune it. So for those of you that want to give runes to this mythic, here's what I recommend. Go with something like this, all right? You can also do something like this, for example. But since this monster's power is so good and the speed, it's quite decent, you can go with, for example, two speed and one strength. All right. Anyways, now that we go ahead and 
bring this monster let's go ahead and take a look at the relics so you have mask as one of them since this is an extra turner i recommend giving it either fury mask or something else of course uh and also it's an attacker so you might end up giving it a bolt source mask for example but uh Eltron's mask is an option as well so is jazzy's mask and talonay's mask but me personally i'm gonna go with fury's mask because i want to give it some stamina since it's an extra turner attacker anyways for the essence here here is what i recommend there are actually many options for example, you can go with Flame Mars SN, you can go with Gekkon's SN, which I actually have. I haven't leveled it up though. Yule SN, uh, of course Yule SN again, but yeah, those are like the popular ones. I recommend going with any of them. And also, Zyron's SN, if you have this, you can give that as well. I'm personally going to go with Zyron's SN. Um, I don't think this actually gives much. It only gives 42 points of stamina and 2 uses. So yeah, it's not really leveled up. And if I wanted to level it up, I don't really have any silvers or bronzes that i could actually use but yeah instead of giving a revival lesson i'm just gonna go with zyron's lesson which actually gives me stamina and since i'm not running too many runes that are actually mutated with stamina i'm only running power and stamina and that's it so yeah currently we have 258 stamina which is not much for an extra turner that's why i have these two relics that will be covering up my stamina all right so anyways now that we got it to level 100 let's go ahead and head over to for example adventure map and we're gonna fight these guys, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and remove every single one of them. We're gonna go with our attacker, the Emerald Natura. And we need a taunt on our side. So it could be, for example, other fanatic. And lastly, I can go with, nah, you're too powerful. Let me go with you. Okay, we're gonna charge up on you because I mean, She's just, uh, that monster is just her supporter, although this is also our supporter, she's a supporter and an attacker. So once again, you can start off with any skill that you want, right? You can do, for example, this. Oh, I actually recommend run, starting off with uh, the one that just deals damage and stuff like that. For example, don't start off with Root Slime until later on, especially if you get this monster to rank 3, because remember that uh, regen, right, the life regen, it will actually run out um, after 3 turns. So just go ahead and use your skills first. So the ones that doesn't apply the life regen, like for example, Root Slime, use Root Slime last. So for example, you do Instant Force here, all right? And then third turn, you can go with Root Slime. So now you have life regen again, even though uh, it's gonna run out by then because remember it's a status caster. It's not really a trait or anything like that So we can do for example the rage skill. So yeah, it's really not a spammable or Cyclable, I don't know if that's a word, but basically you can't really cycle through her skills Because they're all three turn cooldowns, which kind of sucks uh, I just wish they were like one to two, two turn cooldown. That would have been a lot better kind of like charmless but Unfortunately, it's not really like that uh, We're gonna charge up She's going to be really good in Team Wars though, I've got to say. Not the best, but like she's going to be good. Alright. We're going to do Root Slime again, Life Regen, and then hit him with the AoE Raid skill. Now she did have, for example, four extra turn skills. That would have been kind of cool, but she doesn't. She's not like Charmless. Soul Faint. Alright. So here's the thing. Zion's Essence just kicked in and then I'm back with full stamina. I don't even have to charge up. I can do something like this, instant force, root slam. Oh, by the way, those skills, one of them actually heals, which is really good. I just got stunned. So yeah, unfortunately, you will get controlled like that. So you have to watch out. See, freeze landed as well. And earlier, they stunned me. So that kind of sucks. But we're going to go on a heal. I keep getting stunned and frozen over and over again. Why are you after my attacker? Stop it. I'm gonna take you down all right we get our ultimate that's cool before we use our ultimate let's use our extra turn skills so for example this one actually heals our, uh, ourselves oh when you're low on hp like this go with root slam first so that life regen applies to you and then you get an extra turn and it also heals you and then you can do something like instant force for example which will heal you even more and then you get another extra turn which basically helps you with the life regen you know and another one and then you basically use all three turns of life regen and get back to like almost full health. So this ultimate, it is a, it's called Force of Natura. It is a massive nature damage while enemies applies Mega Stun. So unfortunately, we can't stun this one. We can only stun the other. Well, there are some chances that we're going to stun at 50% actually because it has Bulwark Trait. This one we can't stun because it's an artifact. But anyways, we're going to use our ultimate. You guys ready? Oh, look at that. All right. 
So we use our ultimate and uh, see, Mega Sun didn't land on the other because of the Bulwark trait. And we're gonna go and hit you with our ultimate here as well. So we got two ultimates basically. Cool. And just like that, we finish it off. So will this monster be meta? Mm, I don't know. I mean, we'll just have to wait and see later on, you know? We'll have to wait to see if they add um, any anticipation monsters that will really counter her. Uh, here's the thing though, she does apply poison. I, I wish she also applied nanovirus. That would have countered the uh, one talent. You know that one talent, the OP talent? I forgot the name of it. But it's one of the street talents that gives healing and also positive effect protection with evasion. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, you know? Uh, I'm sure many of you guys already know what I'm talking about. But yeah, once again, you can also go with something like this for the runes, okay? For example, two strength and one speed. Don't go in with like triple strength, although that I don't have that to show you guys. But don't go with triple strength or triple speed. If you want to do triple speed, you can. But she'll be really, really weak. Her, um, her role is an attacker, okay? So you do want at least one or two strength rune. I'm going to go back with the two speed and one strength. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this mythic monster and uh, whether or not you like her or you purchased the pass and got her. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.